school for Africa, Fiso Africa. But this year we were learning about Africa in our social studies. Check our general studies. Yansi, your general studies. Yansi, your liberal studies. Yansi, your social, stu social studies. Some got okay, social studies. First, a teacher told us that nearly half of the children in Africa live in poverty. Poverty is a in poverty. They don't have enough to eat. enough Some people, some days they have nothing to eat at all. They live in mud houses and sleep on the floor. But the worst thing of all, the worst thing of all is that most villages don't have a school or how to more. As our teacher spoke, I thought about all things I took for granted. Took for granted, I thought that you should always have. When you think that you should always have, there is no such thing as that. My MP3 player, a refrigerator filled to the brim with good food. Spending money whenever I wanted to. There's no way to compare my life. Compare, come with the bigger. Of a poor African child. The biggest worry is that what I will do on the weekend. Are you on the weekend? Are you at the weekend? His biggest worry is whether she will have anything to eat today. A teacher told us that our class would adopt a village in Africa. So all we needed to do was raise some money with only $250, $250 US dollars, we could help build a school, help gun yun sick, help gun yun sick children. A teacher asked for a volunteer, a volunteer to lead a fundraising, fundraising, fundraising drive. I raised my hands right away. I don't know why, but the picture of the African boys and girls that the teacher show us has something to do with it. For the next two months, my friends and I worked really hard. We each went through our rooms, went through our rooms and chose something that we could sell at a school sell. We held our car washes on Saturdays. So Saturdays, Monday, we guys. Some of us even donated our weekly allowance to the fund. Allowance is a pocket money. 將佢嘅 allowance， 爹哋媽咪俾佢用嘅錢咧，捐去個分度個基金。Soon enough, we raised two hundred and fifty dollars. Our teacher helped us send it to the African School Program. One day, a letter arrived. Our teacher read it aloud. Simbo Baskan, so he being young, read it aloud to us. A young boy from the village wrote, "Yesterday we had no food. Today we can go to school just like kids. We like a preposition, my don't see preposition." 好似其他小朋友咁 ，all over the world. We think of you often as we take our lessons in this wonderful new school. Thank you from your friends in Africa. 真人真事啊！啲多啲關心世界唔同嘅嘢，有陣時要幫人。呢度三類動詞圈曬俾我，寫一段話俾安 Sir 聽，佢講乜，你學咗啲乜，加油！